Chelsea have won the Champions League. Nine years after the first one, the famous old trophy is heading back to West London. Blue is the colour in Porto tonight. And Chelsea are on top of the world. Warm embrace between the two coaches. Kai Havertz is being absolutely mocked by the Chelsea players. It was his goal in the first half. Chelsea, spare a thought for Manchester City, who didn't quite have it tonight. It's a terrible end for Sergio Aguero and Manchester City. There are tears. He's consoled by Kepa and Riza Balaga. But the heartbreak of the FA Cup final defeat is forgotten. Chelsea have won the biggest prize in European club football. It's their night in Porto. It certainly is, Fletch, and to beat Manchester City, a fantastic team, three times in the last three outings is an amazing feat from Chelsea. They've deserved it tonight, all over the pitch, every player, you can give an eight or nine out of ten, they were excellent. Yeah, fantastic by Chelsea. They've done a number yet again on Manchester City, didn't they? Stop them playing, stop them creating, stop them making chances. The best team has won, they just run out of steam in the end. Manchester City after a wonderful campaign. Well, the celebrations are in full flow. Kai Havertz is the Chelsea hero. His name is up in lights. It's finished Manchester City nil. Chelsea won. Chelsea have won the Champions League. It's Chelsea's night. It's Tuchel's night. It's Kai Havertz's night and dark blue is the colour. Chelsea have won their second Champions League trophy. Not to be for Sergio Aguero in his final game for the club. Like the first win for Chelsea, they changed managers in mid-season and it worked yet again. As for Manchester City, the wait goes on for that elusive first Champions League trophy. City's blue moon is still not a full one. A great win for Chelsea, Rio. Wow, what an absolute turn of events. I, I, I was back in, based on form, based on winning the league, the team has been most dominant this year, Man City. But Thomas Tuchel has come in and put on a tactical masterclass today. How compact this Chelsea team were today, there was no spaces between them. Kante put on a masterclass in how to retrieve the ball, to defend, to then break things up and be a menace in that midfield. He controlled the game. The moment came, clinical, Havertz, the man in the picture there, worth every penny now. Joe, you're emotional, I can see that in your eyes. You were cheering with the Chelsea supporters. What a moment for your Yes, yeah, it's, it's hard for me because I'm so emotionally engaged. And to sit where we're sat amongst the fans, you know, every man from, from Mendy through to the, the, the final man in the squad, for me, is a hero. You know, that, that was an unbelievable performance. And, like, just the emotion coming over me now. I'm just so happy. You know, my son's here. All these boys are heroes to me now. They've given me the best, my son, the best day of his life. So I'm yeah. so happy. It's, I know exactly how you feel. Only a couple of weeks ago at Chelsea's expense. Uh, Jolien, for you, it's the other side of the court. Another disappointing defeat in a final. Yeah, devastated. Um, just seen Sergio then and seen how emotional he is. And there's a lot of effort gone into getting into this stage of the competition. And it, it hasn't been the case tonight. Um, it's not the right time to be analysing anyone's performances, the mistakes anyone's made. It's just that you've got to dwell on this as a, as a defeat. And it's upsetting. It's upsetting. But again, hopefully these players, some of these players bounce back. It, it shows you that form goes out the window when it comes to a cup final. This man here and his team have been fantastic this season, but you get into the final and it's about who, who, who puts their team out there the best way, who can execute in the tactical department and individually put performances in. Reese James at right back, wow, what a performance. If there was any doubts about if he's ready, if he's good enough, this kid stepped up today against Raheem Sterling, who's been an unbelievable player for Man City. The way he performed and can say in that picture, the most valuable player in the league this year. I think there's a doubt. I, 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 don't, I don't think there's a more important player for his team in world football than Kante. We've watched the showpiece game and him look like a man against boys. He drove that Chelsea team. Look, Rhys James, academy prospect, outstanding as Rio said, and the Christensen as well. That is not difficult, that's not easy, sorry, to, to come in as a defender for Thiago Silva and play like he did. Rudiger coming from the cold, outstanding men on the pitch tonight and this place is rocking and the energy is just it's through the roof. The City fans.
fans obviously are distraught at this present moment. That dream is still not there. They can't quite reach it, Rio. No, they can't, but they've made improvements again on last year, and, and, and that's what they're asking the manager to do is improve this team, get them over the line with a Champions League. Yes, they got to the final this time, didn't manage to do it. And people are going to talk about Pep changing the way his team were put out. Um, because, again, what we said before, he started this game, the first game in 60 games. Well, one game we had before in 60 games where he didn't play Fernandinho or Rodri. And this was one of them. And it, it, it didn't, it didn't it, come it, up drops. Julian, when we read the teams out at the start, yeah. you felt like it lessened their chances. Is that how you feel it turned out? Yeah, obviously, that was the outcome. Yeah. Uh, Fernandinho is, is as important to Man City as Kante is. Chelsea, he can just nullify attacks. He knows when to foul correctly without causing or getting booked at silly times. That was the nervous part for me, but as I said, it's Chelsea's night tonight. I'm not looking to dwell on 